Hello and welcome to today's class. Today's class we are going to learn about semiconductor optical sources for optical communication. The contents of my class today are definition of optical source, types of optical sources, source characteristics, semiconductor material used for optical sources, emission process, comparison between LED laser and the calculation of quantum efficiency. What is an optical source? Optical source is a hybrid device which converts electrical signal into optical signal. It also launches an optical signal into optical fiber for signal transmission. There are various types of optical sources such as wideband source, monochromatic incoherent source, monochromatic coherent source. Chromatic source means a, wave, a source which emits a wavelength. Incoherent source is the source which emits a photon of different phase. Whereas a photon emitted when all are in same phase called as a coherent source of light. LED is an example of incoherent source of light. Whereas laser is a coherent source of light. There are certain characteristics listed in this slide large wavelength content, incoherent, limited directionality about LEDs, whereas small wavelength content, highly coherent, directional for laser diode. There are some optical characteristics, source characteristics which are to be taken care of. Electrical optical conversion efficiency, optical power, wavelength, line width and the cost. The basic light emission process which takes place in any optical source has two parts. One is the external pumping or external excitation and the second one is absorption. The third one is the emission of light. The emission of light has two parts or two types. Spontaneous emission, stimulated emission. Spontaneous emission takes place in LED, sp stimulated emission takes place in laser. The semiconductor material used for optical sources are type 4 elements, silicon, germanium and a combination of type 3 and 5 materials such as gallium arsenide, indium phosphide, aluminium arsenide, indium arsenide and gallium phosphide. The semiconductor light sources are like PN junction diode. These diodes are also called as direct band gap semiconductor materials. When the PN junction diode is forward bias, it has recombination process. These recombinations are of two types, radiative recombinations, non-radiative recombinations. Radiative recombinations are the combi recombinations which emit photons, whereas non-radiative recombinations are those which emit only heat. The LED has the radiative recombination rate more as compared to non-radiative recombination rate. In laser, we have stimulated emission. Here we can compare LED and a laser for its spectral width. The LED has a broader spectral width such as 30 to 50 nanometer wide. Whereas a laser has a narrow spectral width which is in the range of 1 to 3 nanometers. Semiconductor laser diodes are known as coherent source of light as the number of photons emitted are all in same phase and in coherence. The spontaneous emission is being taken place in LED is known as random generation of photons where all the photons are not in same phase. There are different types of LEDs such as surface emitting LED, edge emitting LED. The major parameter which we can calculate for any optical source is its internal quantum efficiency. The intern internal quantum efficiency is always equal to the ratio of radiative recombination divided by total recombinations taken place where the total recombinations are the sum of radiative recombination rate and the non-radiative recombination rate. Thus, some of the drawbacks of LED are its larger line width, larger beam width, low output power, 
and low electrical optical conversion efficiency whereas some of the advantages of led are robust and linear the fundamental lasing option uh, operation which takes place in laser diode are there are three process absorption spontaneous emission stimulated emission absorption and spontaneous emission takes place in led as well whereas laser has stimulated emission as an extra the laser produces identical energy of all photons identical direction identical phase and identical polarization whereas where we call it as a coherent source of light let us sum it up optical source is a device which converts an optical electrical signal into optical there are two most widely used optical sources such as laser and a led led works on spontaneous emission whereas laser works on stimulated emission of light for a longer distance communication lasers are preferred whereas shorter distance communication leds are preferred thank you